Welcome to Digital Asset News to get top stories in crypto and bring on a bite-sized piece. Today, we're just going to go over quick snippets about some old Cardano price predictions and how they kind of fell a little flat as Cardano takes off essentially to the moon. Also, take a look at NFTs and why I think it's uh, the new gold rush as everything is everybody is piling in. And we're doing a little quick NFT giveaway called the Golden Ouroboros, all from the guys at uh, Cardano Combat, which uh, sold out in two hours. And then uh, we'll also take a look at uh, Iran as they get back into Bitcoin mining. So pretty good weekend. And uh, right now we're looking at uh, it is uh, the 22nd, Sunday, the 22nd. And market cap has uh, stayed pretty stable. I mean, look, we're at 2.06 trillion. Usually the weekends were were dumps before, but now with the Asian market kind of getting out of things and uh, China nowhere in sight, uh, weekends are pretty stable, honestly. Sometimes we see huge rallies and that's good. So Bitcoin price is 48.3. Uh, the sentiment is... The, we're using trade the chain for sentiment analysis and it seems to be pretty neutral, but I mean, I'm feeling pretty bullish still. Uh, I think that there's uh, some good things on the horizon and uh, that's just how I see it. I mean, Bitcoin was almost hit 50,000. We're like 49.7 this week and then it retraced because, you know, just uh, levels of resistance. But here we are. And then we got uh, Ethereum. Let's see. Seven day change. 31.50, 2.57. 24 hours. Cardano up uh, big time. And then uh, Uniswap, hex, look at that, up 8% for seven days. Bitcoin Cash, that's going to make all the, all the hacks people just ecstatic. Good for those guys. Polygon, Matic, Ethereum Classic, all that stuff. So that's what's going on in the market. Let's just, uh, let's just jump over and get into today's top story. I thought this was fascinating because I just like to see, you know, where people's minds are at and where they think that things are going. This was actually a pretty good article a couple of days ago. Uh, Peter Brandt said there was a 90% crash warning for the ADA price. And uh, to be fair, <laughs> Peter did call the top of Litecoin, which I didn't think was super tough. I mean, uh, if we take a look at the actual tweet, and this is all, all we're going to go over. Uh, the actual tweet back in the day, <clears throat> he said, yeah, in 2018, let me blow this up so you can see what I see. In 2018, uh, when everything was going just bananas, Peter's like, that's the top. And that's great. And he called the top and, and retraced big time. Also, you know, Charlie sold everything. Uh, Charlie Lee, the uh, creator of Litecoin, which, you know, fantastic move. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, just went down. He's like, hey, look, I called the top on this and I'm going to call the top on Cardano. And he said uh, back in uh, middle May, beginning of June, he's like, that's it. It's going to retrace 90%. And it didn't happen. And what I really wanted to get out of this whole thing, this whole story is really when you're when you're listening to people who are talking about it's going to do this and it's going to do that and price predictions and everything else just be aware and just take it with a grain of salt because no one really knows where things are going i think from what i've seen technical analysis is great to find the positions to get in and get out but to like really predict like where things are going like uh, six months a year five years from now i just don't see it and uh i that's just how i look at things now if you've got a TA person out there that's been, you know, right, I don't know, 100% of the time, let me know who that person is because if that guy's even around, uh, because I just don't see it. And Peter Brandt was totally wrong. And unfortunately, these types of things people listen to and they don't invest. And I just want to just bring it to light that just take everything with a grain of salt, do your own research, look into things. And uh, if you just want to be safe, I mean, as safe as you possibly can be, this is just investment opinion, not investment advice. Uh, just be an investor. Long-term investing, dollar cost averaging, like I've been talking about every single day on the show, it's like magic. Not like magic, but it really makes things a heck of a lot easier. You don't have to worry so much. So that is that is the big thing. And then to finish this this article up, because the rest, most of it's just boring. Uh, when you come down here, <clears throat> just know that if you're looking at TA uh, resistance line, uh, the next one is three dollars and forty-one cents. That's crazy. Three dollars and forty-one cents is the next resistance, and then uh, next level of support is two twenty. And right now, uh, we are looking at uh, Cardano at two fifty-six. So um, look, uh, Charles Hoskinson came out and he said he said uh, we're going to hit our our goals of uh, you know releasing new smart contracts in uh, September. And uh, we are right in our way, and there's nothing really to hold us back. That's it. Now expect some peaks and valleys, some some rough spots, and and maybe uh, expect them to find some some things. But uh, I think things are looking pretty good. So that 
is that. And then, of course, I also want you to remember something about the Cardano experts is that people call it a scam and people call it a ghost chain and people call it everything under the sun. But just remember this, everybody who's, and usually it's like, I hear a lot of that from Ethereum uh, users, which is weird. Like I own a boatload of Ethereum and I own a lot of a Cardano and they are like my second and third positions that I, that I own. I don't understand why people get so upset about it. So just be happy for what happens. But I want you to remember this. When Ethereum came out, a lot of the Bitcoin maximalists looked at Ethereum and said the only reason that Ethereum is created is so it can steal wealth from people who have invested into Bitcoin and it is a ghost chain and it is a scam and you need to stay away from it. Just remember that. All right, so uh, that's what's going on there. And uh, let's get into what I like to talk about NFTs, the new gold rush. And now I, I can just, you know, say it like this. And that is that uh, the NFTs themselves, uh, they're pretty hot. They've been on, around for a while. People seem to, to love them. I don't really get into them that much, but I can still, I can see why. And this was from um, an article from Andrew Miller, CEO of ATM Holdings. And he uh, invested into home.com, kenny.com, universal.com, creditcards.com, and insurancequotes.com. This was in the very early days of the internet, as you can imagine. And what he did is he got into the Bored Ape Yacht Club, which is a bunch of NFTs that are super rare and super expensive. Uh, he paid, uh, he said it was going for like around four and a half ETH or so, and he really got into it. And what I found interesting was this. He says, domain name investors are some of the earliest explorers of the internet. Uh, that can be said for then and now. Many went on to become founders and CEOs of some of the biggest internet successes. I've been involved in $245 million worth of exclusive premium domain name sales on the internet. So all the money is made, usually at the very beginning. And he says, I'm not the only domain name guy fascinated by NFTs. The Booth Brothers, two of the most reputable domain investors, made headlines for acquiring the 27th rarest bored ape, according to Ray Tools, for 400 ETH or 1.3 million. So look, it's not my job to, to, to understand why everybody uh, is getting into NFTs and everything else and why they love them so much. I think they're good. I don't see them for $1.3 million, but some people do. And it doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter if I look at a piece of art in the wall and say, that's not worth anything. Uh, and then someone comes around and goes, you know what? That's worth 30 million. Great. As long as you can sell it, that's what it really comes down to. So you've got a lot of people who were there in the early days now looking at NFTs. And that is a thing that I think we can all kind of get behind, which leads me to my next point. I am going to be giving away an NFT and it is from the gentleman's the people over at Cardano Combat and Cardano Combat they actually reached out to me and said hey we've got uh, an NFT for you if you uh, would like to talk about it and we'll give it to you for free I'm like great I don't know how big you guys are gonna be well this is how big they were they sold out in two hours and what they sold out was buying a single NFT and it's built on the Cardano blockchain so for 7 and ADA uh, you got a single NFT for a five pack, it was 350 ADA, which is like 700, 800 bucks, something like that now, 900 bucks. And then a full set was 2000 ADA and they sold them all out uh, immediately. So they go, look, we're gonna give you one of our rarest ones called the Golden Ouroboros and uh, you can give it away. So here's what's happening. If you'd like to have this NFT, I'm sure at some point it may be worth, actually, I have no idea what it's gonna be worth. And that's the great thing about NFTs. All you gotta do is follow me at News Asset. It's right down there, over there, over on Twitter. And uh, this is pinned to the top. Just check that out. Just uh, follow me over at News Asset. Follow the guys over at uh, Cardano Combat, which is uh, also uh, put there in the tweet itself. <clears throat> Just give a comment. And that's pretty much it. And I'll draw this on the 24th, which is Tuesday, somewhere around three or four o'clock Mountain Center time. And you can win this Cardano Combat. And that's it. So uh, good luck to everybody who wants to do that. And then that speaks to my next thing, which I want to make mention, is that, uh, well, two things, first of all. Uh, follow this guy, Crypto Stash. Uh, I've seen him around somewhere around, but he knows a lot about NFTs and NFT gaming and things like that. And he seems to like really enjoy it. So uh, like he's talking about, in this one, he's talking about Axie Pixie, whatever that game is, and something else, and something else, and some things I don't get into. So if you're interested in like gameplay and like earning uh, uh, crypto and NFTs, follow that guy. 
he knows a lot more than I do. And that also leads me to my next point, which is, of course, if you're looking for NFTs as far as domains, just like this article talked about, all the money is made in the very beginning. So if you're looking to get an NFT domain that ends in .zil, .crypto, .coin, which is the USDC integration, .wallet, .bitcoin, .nft, .dow, .blockchain, which again, these are not domains, well, they're domains, but they're all NFTs, which they go into your wallet and nobody can ever take them from you because it is on the blockchain. So you have that. They've already got Chrome extensions, uh, the Brave um, uh, integration, Opera integration. They've got all these different wallets, Coinbase, Blockchain, Cake just came out uh, for open source Monero wallet, the Bread, my Ether wallet, Chainlink. I mean, they got tons of this stuff. That's what you could do as far as like purchasing a domain. The link is in the description. It's very simple to find. Look something like this. But in all honesty, <clears throat> this is why I actually have my domains for for uh, from unstoppable domains. Is because if someone wants to pay me uh, for my domain, like uh, I've got Dan Teaches dot Crypto, uh, instead of me saying, "Hey, if you want to pay for anything," I'll, I'll, real quick, Dan Teaches Crypto is 100% free, but. If it was going to take payment, I could just say, hey, instead of sending it to um, Digital Asset News uh, or to 0x537576, blah, 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 I can just say, just send it to uh, danteaches.crypto, whatever you want to send me, uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum or Cardano, whatever else, and uh, it can go to my wallet. So that's what I have. So check that out if that's something that you would be interested in. And finally, we'll wrap it all up with Iran and Bitcoin mining. So this, I think this just speaks to what's going on in the world right now. And that uh, since China said, get out, which I understand why they did it because they don't want any kind of competition with the digital you want. I totally understand that, but you know, bad move for them, bad move for the citizens, honestly. But uh, Iran's gonna lift their crypto mining ban for authorized farms in September. So apparently you have to become an authorized farm. You have to go through the government, go through the paperwork. And they say, yeah, you're a Bitcoin miner. Sure, go right ahead. Well, they shut that down when they had rolling blackouts. But now temporary ban on crypto mining will be lifted on September 22nd. So this is good news. In a country like Iran, which I must admit, I have never visited or know much about, but it doesn't really matter because if we have more countries and they are, allowing mining to happen and cryptocurrency to flourish this is just good news for everybody and i like to see those things now if those miners uh they don't like it over there you can always come to texas we got a lot of infrastructure building over here we'd love to have you so that is it for today so look um that is what is going on right now and the last thing i will say and i, I glanced i i went over this very briefly when we talked about peter brandt and all the different price predictions these are mine so just so you know, just take it with a grain of salt. I can tell you that I believe that the market is going far and, do, and uh, doing very great things. I just can't tell you exactly to the day of when things are going to happen. And um, I thought Bitcoin would hit 150K by the end of the year. I still think it could hit around 100, maybe 130. Ethereum, maybe 10K, Chainlink, and so on and so forth. And uh, Cardano, my price prediction was $3 by the end of the year. And look how wrong I was. And I'd rather be wrong on the low on the on the low end than the high end. So that is it for today. I want to say if you've made it all the way to the end, first of all, thanks for sticking with me at the very end. I appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Always consider subscribing. And that's it for now. And uh we'll see you on the next one.